in all areas of our life, including cybersecurity, there are laws that govern what happened and what occurs. Now, you might not know about the laws, you might not like the laws, but that doesn't take away from the fact that the laws are always there and always in play. For example, the law of gravity, whether you like it or not, whether you admit that it's real or not, if you step off a 10-story building, you're going to be introduced to gravity and you're going to hit the ground very, very quickly. Well, that might seem like a silly example because who doesn't believe in gravity? But yet, we operate in cyberspace with ignorance to the laws. It would be like us walking around stepping off 10-story buildings because we don't believe, understand, or recognize the law of gravity. And that's the reason why so many organizations are getting compromised and broken into is because they don't understand the law of cyberspace. The law of cybersecurity, very simply stated, is when you add or increase functionality, you decrease security. To put it another way, when you add or increase functionality, you increase risk. Those two are always going to be proportional. So when you go in and you're adding a new system or a new server or a new application or new functionality or new feature, we need to step back and say, okay, what is the security risk or exposure by doing this? The problem is, in so many cases in organizations, they only look at the value and benefit. They only go in and say, what is the value and benefit? And there's always going to be value and benefit, right? Of course, if we go in and we take our critical control systems for managing one of the largest oil pipelines in the United States, and we directly connect that to the business network, which is connected directly to the internet, of course, there's going to be benefit. It's going to be easier to access records. It's going to be easier to process invoicing. It's going to be easier for people to manage and control. Plus, it's going to be so much easier for work from home employees because they'll have direct access to the system. So companies only looking at value and benefit will go in and make really, really bad decisions because they don't recognize that there's a security risk or exposure to doing that. So to implement effective cybersecurity, you always wanna make sure you recognize the law of cybersecurity, which says when you increase or add functionality, you're decreasing security or increasing risk, and always look at the other side of the coin. And then by utilizing all that information, you can make better decisions to secure and protect your organization.